what's up y'all toy here and i am back with another delivery video for y'all before we get into the video make sure you guys leave a like subscribe and hit that notification bell all right y'all so today we are back again with the two for one special we have two catering orders once again one on delivered and one on deliver that so this first order that we're going to be picking up this is on the deliver that app and we're picking up from Pot Bellies. The total order cost is going to be 518 cents. We're receiving a delivery commission of $11, and we're gonna be receiving a tip from the tip pool anywhere between 21 and $27. The second order is going to be on the delivered platform, and from there, we're gonna be picking up from BJ's Restaurants and Brew House. The total order cost is $249.90, and we will be receiving a payment of $30. $4.99. So both of these orders line up perfectly, literally in the exact same area. I think it's only like maybe a five or 10 minute drive from the first drop off to the second pickup. So this is going to work out perfectly. So let's go ahead and start with this first order at Pop Bellies and let's go ahead and head over to the restaurant and see what we got. We have arrived and lucky for us, this is the same pot bellies we went to last time. Okay. Same pot bellies we went to last time and super, super easy pickup. So hopefully we don't have a wait. Hello. Hi, I have a easy cater order pickup. Alrighty guys, so we just finished picking up the food and man, definitely a little bit more than I initially expected. So we're actually using four catering bags and yeah. So I was trying to see if I could finesse and put it into three, but unfortunately I was not able to, so I didn't wanna you know squish anything. But it's honestly not really that bad. It's just the items are just kind of bulky. Like there's some bags with the individual meals. There's those big boxes where they have all these sandwiches in there. That took up a bag by itself. Just this literally two small boxes. <laughs> so yeah, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? So we are in route nine minutes out from the delivery location. And yeah, so hopefully everything goes smoothly at drop off and we can go on to the next order so enjoy the ride guys i will see you guys at the drop off location Alrighty, guys we have arrived and yeah, I hope, I hope this is how we get in. So I saw another door with the same numbers on it. So, dang, they don't have, what's the name? Handicap, we'll figure it out though. Pop Bellies delivery oh, catering. Sure. Um, you have yeah. you got boxes? Oh, wow. oh bags. Yeah. <laughs> you got so. a couple, two, three things here. Yeah. Uh, just follow me right here, please. Sure. Nope, we're good, bro. Thank you. <laughs> and then you want to you just put it right on that table if you don't mind. Us. Up here? Um, or... You can put it on that table if you don't mind. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yep. thanks. All right. Okay. Let's get to it. Oops. 
juice. Alright. And you guys are all set. Alright, not a problem. Y'all have a good one. Yes, you too. guys we have arrived and this is all copyright so yeah y'all know the drill hello love hi how about as soon as she's done with this order she'll be with you okay okay two thousand years later all right look at this there you go John. let's see yeah. uh, i don't know if these gonna get fitting here well let's see Alright y'all, we are en route to the drop-off location and man, oh man, oh man, yo, <laughs> first of all, I get to the restaurant was a little bit of a hassle because I don't know what happened on this street en route, but they were doing construction and of course the GPS takes me towards the street that's closed, so I was supposed to get there like maybe a minute, two minutes before my actual pickup time from my last drop-off and I ended up getting there like what five how about I say about five minutes late so five minutes after 11 11 o'clock was the pickup time so I got there at 1105 so I'm like all right it's, it's cool whatever they're probably not even ready with the food anyway that's what I'm thinking in my head right I get there and I walk in the moment I walk in I'm waiting at the checkout or not checkout the check-in desk or whatever with the receptionist or the host I should say I'm sorry and yeah nobody's there <laughs> nobody's there and I'm like okay I see a pickup area in the back so I go to the pickup area or takeout area and the lady that was there at the register she's on the phone so I'm like okay you know I'll wait for her to get done being on the phone and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting guy comes up I'm thinking he's assisting her so he was gonna come up to the second register to ask me what I was there for but no, uh, greeted him, he greeted me, and before I could say that, you know, I was there to pick up a catering order, he cuts me off and tells me she's gonna help, and he just walks away. I'm just like, okay, I just wanted to more or less give y'all a heads up that I was there so y'all can start packing up if y'all hadn't started already, but okay, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, we walked out of that restaurant at 11.25, and the drop off is supposed to be at 11 30. luckily it's only 10 minutes away so i think they did this pick up and drop off time on purpose because this restaurant might be notorious for having long wait times so pick up was 11 drop off was set at 11 30 and yeah it would have only been a 10 minute drive but i'm still gonna be about six or seven minutes late and do i want to get in front of this you know what i get in front of him only got a mile left to drive or just whatever so yeah but we're en route so i'm yeah i don't know if i want to come back to this restaurant again because they they kind of eh. but we'll see you know if the money if the money is right you know and the mileage is good you know i ain't i ain't i ain't got a problem with it but man that wait time who i'm glad this order was last because i would have been late for my second one if i had this order first so yeah i'm glad it worked out that the way it did so but yeah we're almost here at the at the delivery location i started doing my recording late so yeah but y'all go ahead and enjoy this ride all that fun stuff and i see y'all at the delivery location Alrighty guys, we have arrived and of course this isn't indicating exactly where I need to go. I feel like I've been here before. But we'll find out. We'll find out when we get up in here. 
And I have a catering order to deliver. I'm not sure what sweet it just says for Jennifer. Okay. You know where it's from? Uh, this is from BJ's. Hello. Hello. All right, we're gonna head right over there. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, we're heading this way. This way, okay. So oh, no, 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 you're good, you're good. <laughs> and really, anywhere there's space. Okay. Um, and, yeah. y'all whoo we just finished dropping off this food and man oh man oh man but yeah this was quite the eventful morning going into afternoon yeah so just a quick recap let's go over the two orders that we did today so the first order that we did we did on the deliver that platform that was a pot bellies order which was five hundred dollars and eighteen cents we received a delivery commission of eleven dollars and we're receiving a tip from the tip pool anywhere between 21 and 27 dollars now the second order we just did that was an order on the delivered app and we picked up from bj's restaurant and brew house the total order cost was 249.90 and we received a payment of 34.99 now ironically we did get paid for waiting we got a whole extra dollar so that brought our total to 35.99 so yeah honestly i'm not really complaining too much about it because even though i technically should have been done with both of these orders within an hour our first pickup was at 1020 and technically, if I would have gotten the food for the second restaurant on time, I would have gotten done with this in literally, literally an hour. And that's because the delivery location was literally 10 minutes from the restaurant. There was a 30 minute window, but I have a feeling they put that large window because this restaurant might be notorious for having pretty long wait times. So yeah, we ended up getting everything dropped off, getting back to our car at 11.45. So yeah, an hour, 25 minutes. But honestly, still not too bad you know quick 60 bucks within a little bit over an hour i'm not really complaining about that even though we had all the hiccups and everything i think these two orders were still pretty decent not the best but not the worst i would say it was in between it was decent you know i ain't complaining so but i would like to know if you guys thought that these two orders were worth it so let me know in the comments now before I go, I have to remind you guys to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe out there and keep grinding.